So again, it is photo means light, and this phosphorylation means addition of phosphate. So what is this photophosphorylation? Means in the process of conversion, that ADP means into ATP. Means the process of conversion of this ATP into ATP again in the presence of light. Then this process it is said to be as photophosphorylation. Means for combining this phosphate with this ADP now means that electron are released during the previous step in photolysis of water they will provide this energy for the for combining this phosphate with this ATP now. Okay, to change it into ATP now. This is Third step now means photophosphorylation. Now next step is step four means conversion of that NADP into that NADPH2. So means that hydrogen are released during photolysis of water. They combine with this NADP now and means change this NADP into NADPH2. Okay, so means this, the production of this NADPH2 by this ATP means these two they are the product of that light reaction and these product of this light reaction they are used in dark reaction. Okay, so means that all these processes. They occur in the presence of light now. That's why these are said to be as light reaction. Okay. So means these product this ATP as well as this NADPH2 now means both were used as an energy source during dark reaction. So let's start the mechanism of dark reaction. This is dark reaction as I already told you now. This occurs into the stroma of the chloroplast. So dark reaction. Now these are also said to be as light independent reaction. Why? Because they do not need light. Okay. Means these reaction they need the product of that light reaction uh, for further uh, synthesis of the cell. Glucose now that is NADP as well as the NADP H2 now. Okay, so in this dark reaction now means uh, that the uh, carbon dioxide means it enters into a Kelvin cycle and uh, means this carbon dioxide right, when it enters into this Kelvin cycle now it is accepted one compound. Is RUBP. Okay, this is ribulose bisphosphate. Means this compound it will receive this carbon dioxide into the Kelvin cycle and this reaction it is catalyzed by one region rubisco. Means ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase now means this reaction. Then it will catalyze the process of combining this carbon dioxide with this RUPP. Now this RUPP finally means it will change it into a uh, one molecule of glucose. Now means this glucose it is synthesized. Okay, so here means that energy source that ATP it is converted into ATP now means. This will release that energy and this will help in the conversion of this RUPP into glucose. Say that uh, NADPH2 means it is converted into that NADP and the hydrogen release. This hydrogen is combined with this carbon dioxide to form that uh, glucose. You know that as you see now, okay, this is having CO. Okay, so mean that hydrogen for glucose it comes from this point. Means this is H. Okay. So means what is the formula of glucose synthesized now? It is C6H12O6. 
with this carbon it is from this carbon dioxide this oxygen again it is from this carbon dioxide and uh, the hydrogen it came from this NADPH2 now when, when this NADPH2 which is reduced into NADP then with the basic matter hydrogen and this hydrogen it combined with this carbon dioxide to form that glucose molecule okay so this is how that dark reaction takes place in case of plants and means finally how that glucose 